Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are going to do a personal box of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. This personal box is for Kevin Edwards. Thank you, Kevin. Let's see what kind of heat we can pull out of here. Original 1969 card. I'll pop that open last. We have a half case divisional that's on the site right now, ladies and gentlemen, so be sure to check that out. Down to four divisions left, so we're almost halfway there on that. And, uh, and everything ships in that divisional break. I think our shipping team, like I suspected, realized it's going to be too hard. Or it's just going to take too long to just like look at the backs of all of these cards. You know what I mean? Look at the serial, the, the little tiny numbers on the back and figure out all the variations and whatnot. So everything will ship. So it, it, especially during if a break like this or during the divisional break on jazbeeshobbyland.com, if you see me miss a uh, variation don't worry because everything will ship some of the some of the bigger variations we should be able to spot pretty easily like the nickname variations are usually one that is easy to spot the uh, the action shot variations are easier to spot too so stuff like that will be easy to spot and I'm sure there'll be tons of uh, not tons but I'm sure there'll be a lot of the high number short prints. So anything, uh, I think anything over card 401 and up will be a short print, a base short print. And obviously, Otani hunting. and then we'll breeze through these cards and we'll see what you get. Uh, one autograph or relic per box. They're usually relics though. The autos are hard to find in this set. Not too many autographs per, uh, per case or just in general. That's why those, those autos do pretty well on a secondary market. We've only seen the standard autographs thus far, and only a handful. We have yet to see one of those red ink autographs. The red ink autographs we have yet to see of any player. Oh, sorry about that, I hit the mic. All right, here we go. Good luck. We got Mookie Betts. Out of 569, 565 out of 569. So, and, oh, and the, the variations where that says 1969 on it, those are easier to spot too. So let's see, facsimile autographs on those portraits. We'll kind of breeze through these. We'll see, we got, got a nice Kyle Seeger black border, which are, which are about one every 50-ish packs or so. Uh, yeah, out of this particular case of personal boxes, Chris, we have seen, I've, we've seen one or two autographs. I forget who they were, but I think we have seen one or two autographs. <clears throat> That's right, Corey's brother, Kyle. I think after Corey Seeger came onto the scene. That's what it became. Oh yeah, you're Corey's brother. I'm sure growing up it was your Kyle's brother. Although Kyle Seeger is pretty good too. I don't think his ceiling is as high as Corey Seeger, but Kyle Seeger is pretty solid. I always, I always have these dreams that uh, that Kyle Seeger will end up on the Dodgers somehow at second base. I don't think the Mariners are going to let him go, but I think the 
somehow end up at second base. So it'll be, you know, Corey Seager at shortstop and Kyle Seager at second. As your double play combo. Take that, sound barrier. Let's see what else we have here. I look at these cards really carefully. Whoa! Well, that was unexpected. Look at that, Kevin. Clubhouse Collection Autograph Relic. I've heard of this guy, Chris Bryant. Wow. I was just breezing through these and look what we find. It's not bad at all. Steve Stone asking, find any short prints yet? Well, like just in general or in this particular box? Well, there's a short print. That's Mookie Betts. So you can see 0, 1 at the bottom. If you go to CardboardConnection.com, you'll be able to see it. Inherited. So, Steve, are, are you asking in this box, though, or just in general? In general, yes, we've seen a lot of short prints. There's one right there. And that, as they say, is that. Oh, this box, I see. I was just like, in general? Yeah, we've done a lot of heritage. Yeah, well, there's one right there. And I'm sure there's some cards that are numbered uh, on the back, 401 and up. And so I'm sure those, those are some base short prints that are there as well. There's usually a few of those per box, I think, on average. So there's an action shot. But this is really the big one right here. The autograph relic of Chris Bryan. Plus... This shorter print, the black border, and then, of course, the serial numbered Mookie Betts Chrome. Let's see what's in this. Nice box for you, Kevin Edwards. My eeny, meeny, miny, mo method has to be praised for that. That's how I selected it. All right, and your 1969 original is your 1968 pitching leaders. Juan Marichal, Bob Gibson, and Fergie Jenkins with the 50th anniversary uh, stamp in the top right. We'll sleeve that up too. And there you have it. Great job, Kevin. Nice box for you. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbynet.com. We've got more personals there. And we've got a half case random division break available as well. So check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.